Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Remy Hickey for your Capital Markets Report. Today is Wednesday, July 9, 2008. The European arm of U.S.-based Riverside Company has acquired SPX Air Filtration, a subsidiary of manufacturing group SPX Corporation. This according to Thomson Merger News. The transaction is the first investment for Riverside Stockholm office, which opened in late 2007. The acquisition of SPX Air Filtration is the company's sixth in Europe in 2008 and the 15th worldwide this year. CopThing and Equitech provided debt financing for the SPX deal. Terms were not disclosed. And staying with Capital Markets News, PPG Industries Incorporated is selling its automotive, glass, and services business to a new company formed by PE firm Kohlberg & Company. This according to Reuters. PPG said it will receive $330 million in gross cash proceeds plus a minority ownership interest of about 40% in the new company. The transaction will result in about $270 million in cash to PPG, which will be utilized for general corporate purposes, this according to a company statement. Last year, Pittsburgh-based PPG said it would sell the glass business to a PE firm, a platinum equity, but the $500 million deal fell apart after the buyer said it wanted to renegotiate after alleging PPG had misrepresented the health of the business. And moving on to more capital market news, Italy's economic development minister Claudio Scagiola said he is convinced that Intesa San Paolo will complete its operation to relaunch and privatize Alitalia. This according to Thompson Merger News. Intesa San Paolo is working for the government and Alitalia on a business plan to relaunch the airline, which reportedly will involve a financial restructuring and new shareholders. Italy's economic development minister said, quote, I don't know if in the next government ministerial meeting we'll consider the changes to the Marzano law needed for Alitalia. Reports have said that the Marzano law on special company administration used for the Parma law and Serio failures requires changes for application to the airline sector and for Alitalia. And in more capital markets news, Russia's second largest mobile phone operator Vimpelcom says it has taken a 40% stake in a joint mobile venture with Vietnamese state telecom companies and would contribute $267 million to the new corporation. This according to Thomson Merger News. Vimpelcom, which announced it was setting up the venture last year, said it estimated overall investments in GTEL Mobile at $1.8 billion within the next five years. The company is aiming for a 15 to 20 percent market share in that time. Vimpelcom CEO Alexandra Izosimov said, quote, Vietnam will be a key market for us. We will be looking for further development possibilities based on the Vietnamese operations. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto your Capital Markets channel online and read the full stories as well as the latest developments.